what's up everybody? Welcome to Strings Direct. I'm Brandon and this is Chris, our guitar tech. Um, today we're just basically taking a look at some Gibson style guitars and what you can do to help sort tuning and intonation problems because we know a lot of you have been uh, experiencing similar things. Uh, the cause of it is partly due to the scale length and partly due to the amount of stretch on each string when you hold down a chord position. Uh, this is mostly noticeable down at the first five frets when you go, say, for example, from an E chord to a D chord, and the G string always sounds to be, uh, seems to be sharp. Um, it's because it's the one that stretches the most uh, when you hold down uh, the chord. The solution at the bridge end is to take the saddle back, uh, which is why they not awfully end up at staggered points. Um, but there are a few sort of tricks of the trade to actually get it even improved on that. Setting the intonation on electric guitars, uh, you normally use the 12th fret as a reference because it's halfway between the nut and the bridge. As the plain strings get thicker and the wound strings get thicker, you tend to compensate with the saddles by taking them further back, and it's all to do with that amount of stretch when you actually press the note. Um, if you set the intonation perfectly at the 12th, what you may find is that as you go higher, it can actually start to get a little bit flat, and as you go this way, it gets a bit sharp, and this is what causes the problem with the chord changes. Um, what happens though is that if you get up here and the intonation is slightly flat, that's not such a problem because you can squeeze it into pitch. Um, and sometimes if you just set the intonation quietly to yourself, it sounds perfect. But when you get out and play for real, you squeeze harder, you hit it harder, and all the pitch goes up. So if you get up here and it's ever so slightly flat, that's not the end of the world. What I tend to do is set the intonation much higher up the neck than you normally would. And that tends to give you the best average over the whole board. Okay, so how would we go about improving the intonation on an instrument like this? Yeah, with the fine tuning problems, there isn't one solution. There's lots of little things. What we were saying about the setting the intonation high up, where you get the saddles, uh, the strings, for example, if they're twisted, uh, they can give you all sorts of tuning problems. So getting strings on properly can make a huge difference. Also, with the thicker strings, the wound strings, they can come up, hit the saddle, and continue to bend and things like that, that will put your intonation out. So it's important that you get the string straight from end to end. Um, and there's a few other things, little things, that can make a difference. And the, the solution to this problem is lots of little things rather than one simple fix. So if in doubt, bring your guitar in and we'll sort it out for you. So there you have it. I'm Brandon and this is Chris. Thanks again for stopping by. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments box or email or phone. Have a great day. See ya.